I was trying myself to disengage from my persona. I can see the thoughts coming from my mind, the temptations, everything coming and going sometimes. But I observe that happening and I start to doubt that is a creation of the mind or is my high self that is observed by something higher. So I understand what you're saying. I understand the attachment because it's the attachment that we bring down. But the attachment are mine things coming to my highness or my high self. My question is how I make sure that who is observing all these thoughts coming, temptation, whatever, is my high self and is not my mind tricking me, me to believe that I'm witness this. There is nothing called my high self. The high self is not yours. If the high self is really high, how can it be yours? You don't have two selves, one high self and one low self. True self is really a misnomer. The true self is not personal. The true self does not belong to you. Not yours. You can't say it's mine. It is unknowable, unthinkable, untouchable, unimaginable. You can say nothing about it. You are the low self who can at best simply surrender to the truth. The truth is also what is sometimes called as the true self or the high self in your words. The little self must not even talk of the truth. It can just bow its head down. When you say, I want to be the true self that observes all the little activity, you are saying something about the true self, right? You can say something about anything only if you can observe that thing, right? So if you say, for example, that this camera is observing me, then there has to be a third entity that is observing the camera and is therefore able to say that the camera is observing this speaker. So if you say, as is often commonly said, that the true self is the observer that observes all the little activities of the mind, then you are making a claim about the activities of the true self. In other words, you are claiming that you are observing the true self. You can observe something only if you are behind it. On one hand, you say that the true self is the witness of everything. On the other hand, you say that the witness is witnessing, the witness is not witnessing, and such things about the witness. Who is a witness by definition? Who sees everything 
बट कैन इट सेल्फ नेवर बी सीन इट वुड बी अ पुअर विटनेस हु इज विटनेस्ड वेन यू टॉक अबाउट द ट्रू सेल्फ यू आर एक्चुअली टॉकिंग ऑफ विटनेसिंग द विटनेस डोंट यू सी हाउ एबसर्ड दैट इज but we want to keep talking about witnessing and true self and such things this is nothing but the ego's attempt to lay its hand its small and dirty hands even upon the truth so much talk about witnessing only the witness can say something about witnessing but the witness by his very nature would not be interested in saying anything who are we to talk about witnessing but in talking about witnessing that same fundamental misconception is there called my high self as far as we are concerned there is only the small self the low self in your words witnessing is never something that you would ever know of you cannot say i was in the witnessing mode an hour back and now i am not witnessing if you knew that you were witnessing then i repeat you were witnessing the witness it must be a very poor witness so here is the event here is the witness of the event and here are you witnessing both the event and the witness even the best that you can be is small retain this humility this humility is far more important than concepts like witnessing